So when you see an eye like this, you think it might be like a, we call it preceptal. It's, it's just basically out there in the eyelid that's infected. But our worry is that it actually extends back into the orbit of the eye. And that's what you have. You basically, on the CT scan that we got, it actually demonstrates the small abscess and uh, evidence of an early uh, cellulitis in the orbit of the eye. That's not a good thing to have. Uh, and that's why I don't think it's going to happen to you because we are very early in the disease process, but you always worry about loss of vision and things like that. So the plan is to put you in the hospital. The ophthalmology doctor saw you, and uh, she's consulted for us and given us some recommendations, and we're going to treat you uh, as, as indicated with antibiotics. So he actually just had flu, right, yeah. and and documented flu, and yeah. then uh, he was he also had some bronchitis going on. He was wheezing or something. Yes. Um, we woke up uh, Sunday, um, um, and he just he woke up complaining. His jaw was hurting, but his eye was swollen. It wasn't quite this bad. Yeah, but it was puffy. Um, kind of under his eye, how it is now, but it was also more swollen above his eyebrow. Yeah. And then he really didn't have like a head fever, but his whole body, his neck, his face felt really hot, like he had a body fever, if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and we brought him here, gave him Ultrin because he was complaining about the pain, and by the time we got here, the swelling completely disappeared, and he just had his cough, so they treated And, and what day was that? Sunday. Okay, Sunday. So today is Tuesday. Tuesday. All right. So so he actually did have a little swelling initially. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, good. Um, and then he woke up again Monday, and it was not quite this bad, but it was worse than it was Sunday. So we took him to his doctor. They looked at it, changed his medicine, told him that he wanted to see him in two days, but his doctor's actually off tomorrow, so he wouldn't been able to see him. So he told yeah. us to come back Thursday. Yeah. Well, he woke up this morning, and it was this bad, and. No, my own Moultrin we've given him to help it go down none, so we yeah. called his doctor and doctor How much pain are you having? Um, currently, it's not. It's only mild, but when I'm not on anything to relieve the pain, it's almost like a pulsating severe pain. Yeah. Okay, so, on a scale of 10, how bad is the worst pain? Uh, the worst has gotten maybe an 8 or a 9. Okay, okay. To the point where I've started almost crying. Yeah, yeah. If you... Move your eyeball around. Do you have pain? So, um, if I move it around a little bit, it doesn't hurt too bad. But if I move it up too much or down too much, it kind of hurts. Okay, and that's that's an important clue. That's one of the things that makes us think about an orbital cellulitis if you have pain with eye movement. So that's why we went ahead and got the CT of your head and face or your face with contrast, and uh, and that's why how we found it. So. I really want to thank you for uh, letting us do this teaching video, and uh, this is going to help doctors, nurses, med students, anybody out there, or parents who say, what do I have to worry about if my son or daughter has swelling in the eye like this? So, mm -hmm. Good enough. Thanks, you guys. No problem. You're welcome.